Assalamualaikum and good evening. I am Tasing Lokpan reporting for NST Online and here today we have Youth Chief Amno Semberung uh, on Hafiz Ghazi. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Alright, you have been actively participating in Amno politics for 13 years now. What is the difference between 10 years ago to now? Well, firstly, um, 13 years ago, the social media yes. aspect of politics was not uh, active. Now we've got a lot of news uh, that comes out and uh, it definitely affects how people think, uh, especially when it comes to the youth. Because not only there's Facebook, there is uh, Twitter, Insta, there's also WhatsApp. And the challenge for the youth is for them to verify the news that they receive. So to me, that is the main difference between politics then and what's happening now. And it's quite a battle. As it, is. For it is. It is. It is. Years. Okay, let's get started on the grassroots issues. You said you are from Sembro, so this coming battle to win the young generation of support is quite, it's quite hard. So uh, what do you think it takes for a political party to win them over? Well, I beg to differ a bit on that. Okay. Um, in Sembrong, nearly half the electoral votes are youth. Okay. There's about 19,000 of them. And based on my experience with the youth, it's not that difficult to engage them. As long as you engage and um, let them see what the leaders of Sembrong are doing, the Tutsri Sham is doing for Sembrong, you can see the difference between what, uh, how we've progressed over the years. And, you know, in general, youth are very idealistic, but they are also rational at the same time. So as long as there's engagement, they understand what we're doing, and they can see progress in Sembrong, um, they're with us. You know, I, I, I sincerely think so. And what, ha what are actually the constant issues they have raised to you? Well, um, like most places, one is job opportunities, um, secondly is um, accessibility and also infrastructure. Now in Sembrong, um, we've got professionals there already, we've got teachers right down to uh, people doing agriculture work. And um, in terms of infrastructure, we've made it point, the, the, the Tutsri Sham himself, as MP of Sembrong, he's spent and uh, really looked after the progress in terms of infrastructure in Sembrong. Schools are built, you know, um, futsal uh, courts, uh, Dewan, you know, uh, Dewan Tebuka and all that. I mean, there's a lot of progress that's done. So maybe, um, as you mentioned about infrastructure, maybe you could talk about the social mobility and the changes that has happened throughout the whole, the, throughout the years to Sembrong. I think the key for Sembrong is education. Okay. And, uh, and we have um, Bumi Putra's Orang Asli there. Mm -hmm. And we have seen over the years the Orang become doctors, okay. teachers. You know, and uh, these are Orang Aslis, and we're not talking about the other races. So there's a lot of um, emphasis on education in Sembrong. And recently, our MP uh, launched the um, education bl blueprint in Sembrong itself, looking at the kebajikan, the welfare of the teachers and the, of the children in Sembrong. So there's a lot of emphasis there, and you can see a lot of progress happening. It can be seen that you do a lot of engaging work of course. With, with the MP. Yes. So uh, what are one of your projects? Well, for our youth wing in Sembrong, because like recently we had a carnival for the youth. Okay. And through that carnival, it's not just sports, but there's job opportunities. Not just in Sembrong, but Johor as a state. Okay. So, um, and uh, Alhamdulillah, you know, about 3,000 youth came out to join that program to, to see what opportunities they have. So these are the things of, these are the kind of programs that we introduce to the youth so that they can come out and explore. Okay, all right. So 
um, as we draw nearer to the elections, what are your aspirations and also your hopes as for next year? Um, for me personally, I want to see Barisan National win big, okay. uh, especially in Sumru. And uh, because at the end of the day, I think people can see who has been actually been doing the work. You know, we have the opposition coming to Sumbrung, you know, this past few months, promising the, the moon, you know, and they've never served the, 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 the people in Sumbrung. And uh, I really hope the youth in Sumbrung and the country can see that, you know, who, which party actually does the work and which party only talks and, you know, uh, gives fake news, yeah. you know, so I hope uh, the youth will be rational enough to see the difference. There is perception because many have mentioned throughout the whole two days that we have started UMNO Assembly that perception is a thing that we have to count, I mean UMNO has to counter mm -hmm. in handling the days leading up to the election. How are you guys addressing that? Well, again, you know, we have to show to the people in Sumbrung that we are actually doing the work and they knew it. And obviously it cannot be just by word of mouth. It's got, also got to be through social media, through mainstream media. And, um, you know, I, I believe that the people of Sumbrung will see that. Okay. All right. Inshallah. All right. Thank you so much for Thank you, being Tasneem. with us today. And that was uh, on Hafiz Ghazi from Sumbrung. Thank you so much for watching Thank it. You.